Hey guys, so I just got some pretty significant issues sorted out that I've been tinkering with over the last couple of days in my own software. I initially thought that it was in the Arduino CMRI library or possibly JMRI, but nope, it turned out to be me because yay. But I got all of it fixed now, I think. So I'm going to do a little bit more testing over the next few days and put some finishing touches on it, but I cautiously say I think it's done. So I got the JMRI layout editor turntable set up here. And if you right click on this and click edit, you can see it's a DCC controlled turntable. And all you have to do if you want to set up a DCC turntable on JMRI is check this box and then choose which turnout you want. It's very easy. So I got that working. So you can see right now it's showing that we're at the first stall track, which is accurate. If my camera will focus. There we go. And if I click, let's just do the third stall track. You can see the diagram changes and the turntable moves over. So now it's over at the third track. So that's nice. And the other big feature that I got working, and those of you who are going to ask what in the world this is, I'm not using Windows. I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 with the GNOME desktop environment. So that's what that is. Google Ubuntu Linux if you don't know about Linux. But yeah. So the other big feature that I got working was the rotate 180 degrees option. And bear with me because my phone doesn't like to focus on this screen. But now if I throw this turn out, the table will rotate a full 180 degrees, which makes it really easy to turn a locomotive in place without having to click a whole bunch of different places to get it to move around one at a time. So you just throw that one turn out, and it's going to turn with the front facing the stall track that the back was facing a minute ago. And that little flicker that you might have just seen there is supposed to happen. That's built into the Atlas turntable. If you have one of those, you know what I'm talking about. But everything seems to work. I'm going to put a few more finishing touches on the Arduino program here, and all of this is open sourced on GitHub. Um, my username is k4kfh, and the repository name is Turning Tables, because I couldn't think of a better name. So if you want to download this code and tinker with it, feel free. I'm using only two libraries. I'm using the Arduino CMRI library, which is just awesome and the developer of that library has generously worked with me quite a bit with my limited programming skills and I'm using the EEP ROM library and for the non-technical audience members the Arduino has a very small piece of memory called the EEP ROM or the EEPROM, I don't know how you say it that you can write variables to so I use that to make it where it will remember the position that it's in through power offs. So if I cut the turntable power off right now, it would still know that it was at track three when I powered it up again. So that's what that's for. And everything else is written by me. And you can view this on GitHub. I'm fixing to commit this latest revision with all these lovely changes that I made. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.